Alright, so realistically, not a lot of stuff happened in Boruto episode 45. If anything, it was mostly a lot of exposition about the character who's uh, who we see the most uh, out of all the Piyakuyu gang, which is Ryogai, Ryogi, Ryogai, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, because I'm terrible with names. Um, I, I kind of hear some characters like say his name, and... Uh, like even then sometimes it's like different at times and I can't tell what's his name you know so not a lot of stuff happened the entirety of most of like towards like the middle of the episode and a little bit at the beginning of the episode as well was mainly derogatized towards a lot of exposition with Ryogi that's what I'm gonna call him or Ryogi you know I'm just gonna call him Ryogi whatever so the main character Ryogi who's a part of the Byakuya gang I'm I hate trying to figure out which name I have to go with from real guy I'm gonna switch in between anyways so the beginning of the episode really just kind of begins off with Boruto doing some kunai training for whatever stupid reason and then for whatever reason they actually actually beforehand they actually do reference the tuning exams and that they're coming up and clearly that's a sign that you know the whole like tuning exams of the Boruto movie are coming up next after this this filler arc is over but I feel like they don't they didn't have to reference it because on Crunchyroll like kind of like the little poster thing that they have on Crunchyroll kind of like insinuating like what's the next arc or what's the current arc that's going on uh is, is happening it, it's changed and it's kind of like got Kinshiki and Momoshiki on it so we already know that the tuning exams are coming it's just that they're kind of dragging it out for whatever reason I guess they kind of just want like character build up with Shikadai for some random reason but whatever right so the entirety of the beginning of the episode is talking up they're talking about the Byaku again and how they're causing a whole bunch of rampant kind of like protests like kind of stuff happening in the village uh and yes the Byakuya gang is is behind this they're the ones who caused it and then we get a shot of real guy real guy real guy and whatever um he's holding a pawn from from the shogi game right and then they go into back uh, they go into a flashback right and this is where we get the exposition of his character and what happened before he had became a part of the member of the Byakuya gang and essentially what happened was is that his dad who isn't the guy that we've been seeing the entire time as the leader of the Byakuya gang it's actually an entirely different character uh he calls him like uncle like uncle gecko i'm gonna call him gecko because if i say geeko it's gonna remind me of uh Dragon Ball Evolution, you know, the shitty live action movie. So I'm not gonna call him Geeko, I'm gonna call him Gecko, because that actually sounds a lot cooler. <laughs> so he calls him Uncle Gecko, so I'm assuming that's his uncle. And his dad actually died, and Real Guy's dad and his uncle, quote unquote, right? I'm just gonna say that as his uncle, Uncle, uh, uncle Gecko, whatever. He dies, and then his dad. And his mom also gets killed right in front of him. And then it's revealed that he all of a sudden has ice release powers. And I didn't really like how it's just like, oh, suddenly he has ice release. And it's never been explained why. If they're going to have exposition for a character of what happened to them in the past, can they at least explain why? he has ice release because they didn't do that they didn't do that whatsoever so he kind of does like some ice release kind of like rage bs right thing don't know what the hell happened and then i guess some crystals form like in front of the guy that was about to kill him right i guess on his like sword i guess and then ryogi passes out real guy passes out on the floor and all of a sudden he wakes up and he sees uh his uncle right he sees his uncle he's like oh yeah your mom and dad kind of you know died because you know they got killed <laughs> they got killed so he he essentially then reveals that yeah him and his dad essentially 
created the, Byak uh, the Byakuya gang because they actually did have normal shinobi work. They were shinobi, but then they were like, oh, but the shinobi that, you know, fall in line with, you know, like, the, the village, I, I'm, I'm guessing, like, behind the, ho the Hokage, or not the Hokage, well, yes, the Hokage, but the Kage, is essentially, right? Those who fall in line with them are essentially only supposed to protect those that they're, you know, assigned to. So let's say it's an ex escort mission. They're assigned to only protect the, the person they're supposed to be escorting, nobody else. And that's why they kind of be created the Akuya Gang, so that way they can help those who are not only less fortunate, but those who just need protecting. Which is why they kept calling themselves Noble Thieves, even though, you know, if you've seen what Boris has been arguing about, he's like, no, that's still stealing, you know, and I kind of agree. It doesn't matter if you're stealing from the rich and taking it to the poor, you're still being the bad guy, so whatever, right? So Ryoga decides to do whatever whatever the hell his dad was doing. And then he decides to go meet up with Shikamaru. They have a, sh a, jogi, uh, a shogi match. And Shikamaru wins. Not Shikamaru. She could, she could die. She could die. Why was I saying Shikamaru? She could, she could die. Uh, he wins. And then he basically is then like, okay, let me ask you a question. Ryoga is like, sure. All right? And then Shikadai asks... Are you a member of the Byakuya gang? Or you're with the Byakuya gang? And then he's like, what? No, no, I'm not. I'm not a part of the Byakuya gang whatsoever. And so he basically cast on bait, insinuating that uh, he had like a lantern with him. And he's like, oh yeah, that's one of the things that was stolen. And then he was like, how was that already traced? And he gave off a reaction, which yes, that basically confirmed Shigadai that yes, we all guys a part of the Byakuya gang and so they start attacking each other or a real guy starts like throwing like ice release stuff right and then he's like oh if I die upon I'll die of whatever right and then he kind of throws like a ice release kind of like crystal thing on the ground he starts saying some stuff to Shikadai and then he's wondering why isn't he like attacking him why isn't he like doing something right and most of it is due to mainly just of how the cast is nowadays you know like the cast doesn't really work and the main cast that we follow along like Boruto, Sarada and stuff like that they don't really know like the struggles of like actual battle not even like Boruto and Sarada even though they had you know the last mission that they were on they still don't really get it not like the the members of the previous cast that were in part one and ship it in because you know they were in a times of war so they kind of like get it and understand and that's why they were doing the things that they were doing and in times of peace they don't really do a whole lot and they're in a really peaceful village so they're really soft and Mm, you know, whatever, right? So, Shigadai essentially just lets him go. Basically, so they can have another episode of this, like, really stupid filler arc that has an episode that didn't even really need to happen, but whatever. So, next week, we're going to, you know, see a whole lot of more action. Uh, a lot more interesting stuff, at least. Uh, Shikamaru is actually going to be in the, next, uh, in the next episode a little bit, from what I can tell. And all I can only really hope is that something interesting happens next week because this week wasn't really all that interesting. We got exposition about a character that we're probably never going to see again. And the only thing that was really interesting about the episode was, you know, the final part of the episode. So whatever. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible either. I wish it was like kind of better in a lot of ways, but it's it's okay for what it is, but I I just kind of wish that it wasn't the episode that it was, and they had to they had to do exposition for a character that no one really cares about right now, and they didn't do proper exposition for what they actually need to explain <clears throat> ice release on this nothing character. Just my opinion, of course. So. That's the end of the video. That means that's the end of the episode. So I hope you guys didn't enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments because 
I didn't see a whole lot of enjoyment, and I'm just curious what you really thought about the episode. So anyways, uh, leave a like if you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe and push that notification button for future videos, and so you never miss a new video after you do subscribe. And yeah, hope you guys have a beautiful life, and I'm out. See you later.